Okay, so behind me here I have my second generation Prius. So this applies to anyone with a 2004 to 2009 Prius with a check engine light code of P0301 to P0304. And that's just a misfire code was detected. I'm gonna try to make this as brief as I can and show you, uh, since this is my second time doing it, some tips I've found along the way. And the way we're gonna fix this code is by replacing the ignition coils and the spark plugs. It's really not that hard. You don't need a whole lot of tools. Let's jump into it. So I was driving the other day and my check engine light came on. It was running a little rough. So I ran the check engine codes. P0302, P0300, random misfire, cylinder three, random misfire, cylinder three, cylinder four. So there could be a couple things wrong with this. It could be spark plugs, could be ignition coils, or fuel injectors. I had the fuel injectors changed 30,000 miles ago, but when I had that job done by Toyota, I did the spark plugs and the ignition coils myself, and I bought the parts on eBay. They're a little bit cheaper than I was finding on AutoZone and Toyota's website, and they looked legit, so I bought them, but I suspect that those parts I bought were phony. So if you're doing this job, replace it with genuine parts. Either go to toyota.com, autozone.com. This is everything you need right here. We have our 10 mil socket. This is a 5 8 inch socket and that's for the spark plug. You'll have four new ignition coils and then four new spark plugs. Get some anti-seize lubricant and the connector grease as well. Let's see how long this job takes us. Let's start by getting equated with our engine compartment here. So these are what we're replacing here. I'm going to show you how to get to this the easiest way. Get your 10 mil socket. Now that the relay's out of the way, disconnect each one of these. So you see this little tab here, just press it down. I like to use my thumb, my index, I'm underneath it, getting a good grip on it. And then I put this hand on top, I wiggle, get a little click and it comes out. So all four connectors are off. Now we're going to remove the 10 mil bolts. Okay, the bolts are out. The next step is going to be to just pull these straight up out of the cylinder. So I spent some time with these alcohol-based wipes. Worked pretty well to get this clean. Just be careful not to get any debris inside of the cylinder. I started at the rim and then I'd work my way out in a way and I just kind of repeated that just took my time that way we get a nice connection for those ignition coils all right let's get the old plugs out get the new spark plugs in I'm just gonna record me doing this on one because if you do it on one you can do it on the other so my ratchet in there and this is a nice ratchet it's a 92 gear wrench it's about hundred and twenty dollars for the whole set at uh, Home Depot so I do recommend that go ahead and screw it all the way Took the ratchet off and now I'm just gonna ease it out of there. Let's put some anti-seize on the spark plugs. It's time to use the torque wrench. I've set it to 13 foot-pounds. One thing I like about this gear wrench kit is it comes with a one quarter inch to three eighths inch socket. So it worked really good in this application because my torque wrench is a quarter inch drive, but my spark plug socket is three eighths. There it was, 13, on to the next. Now I'll just repeat that for the remaining three cylinders. Now if you pull your extension out and the spark plug socket's still down in there, you just have to put it back in and just kind of wiggle it around a little bit. If you play with it enough, you'll be able to get it out. The next step is to take some of your connector grease and put it in the boot here. This is what I think is a fake uh, Denso ignition coil that I bought on eBay it was really cheap. It was like $40, I think. So I should have known. Get what you pay for, right? This is what the legitimate Denso coils look like. Um, I have several here that I bought from AutoZone and actually one I bought from directly from Toyota just to see. And yeah, they're 
all the same. That's what they look like. So just uh, just so you know, maybe that's helpful. I end up taking the rubber boot off of each one of these ignition coils, the Denso uh, from AutoZone, and then the eBay one, and you could just really see the quality difference. This coil is really, really thin, which would make connection from the spark plug to the ignition coil, and you could just see the quality of that. Here, this is this coil's a lot more firm. It's just time to torque them down, 13 foot-pounds. All right, they're all in. Just gonna kind of recheck the connections here. That's good. Now we're just gonna put the relay back. Those two 10 mils. All right, not bad. So this is my second time doing it. it. Took me an hour and 12 minutes. I would just say give yourself two hours. Plenty of time so you don't have to rush and make a silly mistake. This is the final list of everything we used. I highly recommend this tool set. I've really loved this. I've done multiple jobs with this now and really enjoyed it, especially the 90 tooth function of these ratchets. You know, being in a small space, how you're able to really effectively get bolts and nuts off. Right after the job, I cleared the check engine code using my code reader and I've driven it for over a thousand miles now and check engine lights remained off. It's been running smooth, no misfiring. I think we're good to go. So hopefully this video helped. Take care.